Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I just wanted to make this quick video about the new Red Komodo update. So last year, the Red CEO kind of mentioned the Red Komodo is not going to get updates no more. And we were all pretty disappointed. I seen some other YouTubers make videos that the new third party RF lenses were not working on a Red Komodo, which is a big issue also. So let's hope this new beta firmware fixes that. I don't have any third party RF glass, so I cannot test that function, but I'm gonna show you guys what the new Red Komodo uh, 1.81 uh, beta firmware brings to the table. And I'm pretty excited that they're still supporting this camera and they're doing updates. And it's not just support for lenses like we mentioned, it's, it's more than that, it's actually adding extra functionality. And since doing this upgrade on this camera, this camera actually works a lot smoother. But like I mentioned, this is a beta firmware. So hopefully this firmware uh, comes out of beta and is even smoother, better, and you know, there's no glitches or anything. But just playing with this firmware, I have not experienced any issues. So this firmware came out in December of 2024. So uh, last month. And it brings some functionality and other things. So let's boot this up and take a look what this firmware brings to the table. So with the Red Komodo being an older camera, obviously it's a DSM-3, but with the Red Komodo X, we figured there wasn't gonna be any more upgrades for the Red Komodo. But here you go, we have an upgrade. So I'm glad Nikon is still supporting this camera and doing what they can with this older hardware. So. Booting up beta firmware, initializing. Uh, I've been getting that error. If you guys seen any of my other videos, I got this red Komodo for a very cheap price because it does not recognize the batteries. So I never have a battery level on these. So I tend to use Canon BP batteries with the battery level on them. But for the price I got this red Komodo for, I'm very happy with it. So this is the biggest functionality item they added to this camera. And this is called onboard LCD user pages. So this is fully customizable and you can have up to three pages of these custom functions. But the first thing I've seen uh, while upgrading this camera, just everything runs smoother. So uh, let's get out of these user pages and So uh, this is how you can toggle these user pages on and off. So you go to menu, LCD, uh, menu monitoring, LCD. And then from here uh, you have mode, either preview or user pages. And this is a big thing I've noticed with this upgrade. If you guys have the red Komodo, when you switch menu items, it kind of is very, it feels like it's very, um, like the refresh rate isn't great. Obviously the refresh rate of this screen did not change. Uh, but when you move from menu items, it's a smoother transition. So it's not like a hard transition. Uh, there's more of an animation when it goes to the next uh, thing. And it just makes the camera feel a lot more snappy. So I really like this, especially uh, we're going to go back to old view, the preview view. And like, for example, a big thing with the Komodo uh, while using it, let's say uh, we're going to change um, the aperture and it was very rigid and now it's very smooth and it's just, um, it's just a, a lot more satisfying um, that it smoothly transitions. Uh, same with ISO, same with every menu item. It just, it runs so much smoother. So I really like this. But let's go back to the menu pages, the LCD user pages. That's what it's called mode. And we're going to go back to user pages. And from here you can fully customize this. So this is something I kind of played around with, uh, how I like it. And I really like that it has this max FPS toggle so you can shoot in 23 frames a second. And then if you want to catch some slow motion footage, you just hit the max FPS and you can record in 
um, basically 40 frames a second, which is very nice. Um, so you can super toggle. You don't have to go into the sub menu to change this or anything. So I really like this. And if you press it again, it goes back to 23 frames a second. Another thing it has added is the center guide. So let's go to the preview. I don't know if it's going to show it here. Let's go back to the other view. Um, but there's like a level now. So when, when you're shooting, it shows you when you're um, level with the horizon. So uh, let's go back. And I just upgraded to this. I played with it for a little bit. So I'm still pretty new to these new features. I just really wanted to show you guys what Red has added to this camera. So yeah, I don't remember <laughs> how to turn this on now, uh, but there's an option now to show the level. Um, but let's go back to the user pages because that's uh, what the big update is. And it was a very smooth upgrade. I used my phone to upgrade this camera and it was no problems. This upgrade actually adds that you can do firmware directly from uh, the camera from what it seems. So I guess when the new upgrade comes out, uh, we'll see if we're able to um, directly upgrade it. So on the, some other features they added is top button modes, added function toggle, ability to edit FPS shutter and format list, T-stop display support. Uh, you can calibrate the gyroscope function now. Uh, yeah, edit in camera online firmware upgrade. Edit remount media commands. Edit max frame rate toggle assist button. So this is what it is that max FPS toggle button. And yeah, it's just like I mentioned, I just wanted to show you guys a quick view of this new menu and to add these new functions to these. Uh, for example, you see, I have these two slots open right here. So if I hold it, I have a lot of options of what, what to add to that square. So if I want to add highlight roll off, I click okay. And now I can change my highlight roll off. So it just makes it super quick. And if you have a screen mounted or your phone mounted, you're not missing the actual uh, preview window. And you can just kind of use this screen as for all the options. And then you can monitor your actual footage with your phone or SDI monitor. So I think this is super cool. I, like I mentioned, I'm super glad they're updating this camera, added some more life to this camera. So people don't feel like they have to upgrade to the Komodo X even since Nikon has acquired Red. So I highly recommend this upgrade. Uh, even if you're not going to be using these user pages, just how snappy the camera is and how smoothly kind of things uh, work now is, is a big, big change, big upgrade. Uh, don't make this upgrade until you can play around with it. Obviously, don't make this upgrade right before a paid gig or anything like this. Do this upgrade, play around with the camera and make sure you're not having any issues with recording media or anything like that. It's just not smart to go to a beta firmer right before a paid gig. But if you have time to play around with it before your next paid gig, I highly recommend this upgrade. So yeah, thanks a lot for checking out this video. Uh, comments, uh, any questions you guys might have, and I'll try and answer them. Like I mentioned, I just performed this upgrade too. So I'm kind of learning how uh, everything works and... Yeah, but I think uh, these user uh, boxes that you can customize are super cool for this camera. So yeah, thank you guys. See you on the next one. Peace.